You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back. The men's tennis team is on a historic run mm -hmm. right now, and they're looking to keep it going this weekend. Yeah, the Wildcats, they got a very deep lineup. Seven different athletes are ranked in singles, and four different doubles tandems are ranked this year as well. Gabrielle Diallo is one of the guys leading the way, ranked 21st in the country right now, and he talked with our Maggie Davis. Well, the UK tennis program is heading to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2014. Gabrielle, have you all been able to really put that into perspective? Is that something you've talked about? I mean, the first time since 2014 is a big accomplishment. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a huge accomplishment, and we're we're happy for our for our coaches for the program. But uh, we're trying to stay focused on uh, the job ahead. At the beginning of the year, we had you know we had goals to try and make a push at the at the NCAA's and. And here we are, you know, Sweet 16. Hopefully uh, after Saturday, we'll be part of the eight teams standing in the tournament. First round, you got wins in singles and doubles versus DePaul. Second round, again, wins in singles and double, this time against Northwestern. How much momentum do you personally feel heading into another weekend coming off of four wins like that? Every win in college tennis is uh, great because, you know, we play so many matches and matches can go either way really fast. So if you get a win, you know, you try to enjoy it as much as you can and hold on to it and carry the momentum. And like you said, momentum is a huge thing in college during the match and especially like when you go into matches, you know, you don't want to go into a match and be on a losing streak. It's a little bit hard to snap out of it. I'm looking forward to, to play Saturday and I feel great. Well, now that you've had five days in in between last weekend and this coming weekend. How do you carry that momentum from last Saturday to this Saturday? Just try to do the right things in practice, focus on the specifics, and uh, our coaches are doing a great job of uh, laying out what I need to work on during practice to get ready for the match Saturday. So what are you expecting to see out of Wake Forest this weekend? Talent from one through not even just six, even guys that are not playing, is just there's so much talent on that team. The guy that's playing six right now, they could throw him out and put another guy in, it's going to be the same thing. You know, they just... They have a lot of talent on their team. I think they're the team with the most wins, so you know it's going to be it's going to be a war and it's going to be fun to play. But what they don't have is maybe a guy like you, who I think has the clutch gene. I mean, back-to-back -back clinching wins in the SEC tournament to help the Cats advance to that championship game, and then another decisive win against Northwestern last weekend. How do you think you've been able to get it done in crunch time like that so much this season? And does that make you nervous at all? Do you, in the moment, do you realize that that's what's happening? Or has it just sort of worked out that way where your matches have been the decisive matches? I really just try to focus on the moment. It's really hard, you know, because when you look around, you can see your teammates, okay, my this guy's winning. Okay, this guy's losing. And you try to figure it out, oh, it's going to come down to me. But I think the key is, number one, trusting my teammates. You know, I trust all my guys, even the guys that are not playing. If, if they end up playing that one day, you know, I trust everyone. So that helps me a lot deal with the pressure. And I'm sure that it helps also my teammates deal with the pressure. The coaches did a really good job also at keeping me focused because sometimes I tend to like look around and stuff and try to figure out if it's going to come down to me and my coach on the, my coach is like sitting on the bench like, hey, get up, come on, let's go focus. And I just, I'm sorry. And then I just try to focus and do my thing. And, Keeps me composed. <laughs> Got to keep the blinders on, right? <laughs> exactly. I like it. So you can be exactly. in singles and doubles. Do you have a preference? Which one's your favorite? I like doubles because I'm playing with my best friend. So I'm playing with Josh. So I, I really like doubles. I like singles because I get to I get to like be myself and express myself on the court the way that I want to play. I don't know. It's a tough question. I, I, I think I like a little bit more doubles right now because I'm playing with Josh. It's just so much fun. Yeah, you bring up playing with Joshua Lapidot. He's had an amazing yeah. season as well. And I think the two of you just have such great chemistry. How important is that for you in doubles? It's really important because, I mean, for me, uh, the key to doubles is to trust your teammate and feel comfortable with your teammate. And since we have such a good bond off the court, you know, we know each other since we're, I think, since we're 10 years old. So, like, we're, we're good buddies. And, like, if I miss a ball, it's okay. Like, Josh knows it's, it's okay, Gab. If he misses a ball and he looks at me, I'm like, it's okay, Josh. Like, we just have we just have trust in each other, and we understand how we both play, and I think we, we match each other really well. Now, I think when a lot of fans think about tennis, they might think about something like the Wimbledon, you know, which is really composed, really serious. I don't think the vibe around collegiate tennis is quite <laughs> like that. Why do you think the BBN should come out to Hillary J. Boone Complex this weekend to see you all compete, and what can they expect? When they come, they're going to see six guys that are – fighting like their life is depending on it uh, they're playing for something that's bigger than themselves they're representing the school they're uh, representing the state of kentucky the city of lexington and uh, we're just having so much fun competing and try to 
try to win that I feel like for a fan to watch it's, it's a different experience. Well, come out and see for yourself Saturday at 2 o'clock. That's when the fun gets started. Tickets on sale now. Head to UKAthletics.com to get yours. More BBN Tonight is right after this.